I just stopped the car. I just and pray that there was nobody behind me. This was terrifying. She was the driver behind the truck that hit the top of the O'Neill Tunnel. The accident brought rush hour to a stop and created a huge backup that lasted for hours. An inconvenience, definitely. Incredibly, though, nobody was hurt. WBZ's Gary Broad is live tonight in Boston with the very latest. Gary? Well, that driver tells me when the truck crashed into the O'Neill Tunnel, debris went everywhere, and her windshield went black. But she was still able to make a turn at the very last second. When we talked to her this afternoon, she told me she thought she was going to die. Everything just went flying. Justine Gibbs has taken the O'Neill Tunnel to work every day for 15 years. And I was a little early going to work, and it was going to be a great day. And then this, the cargo of the truck in front of her hitting the ceiling, debris flying as cars are passing by. Gibbs only had seconds to react. I, I, it just happened so fast. I don't know, I guess just, you know, your reaction instinct, I don't know. Traffic was backed up for miles. The 59-year-old Ontario driver was cited for the height and width of his truck. That driver works for Snap Trucking. The owner tells WBZ, we apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused. It's a door. I don't know. That's one of the things that hit my car. This door was part of the cargo that flew off the truck. Gibbs amazed by the video as she sees it for the first time. Well, yeah, that was me. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm glad that I was alive. After seeing what, what happened, just glad I was okay. The maximum height for the tunnel is 13 and a half feet. Mastaw tells me there are sensors that warn drivers if they are too tall. The message will read over height vehicles, stop, await police. Mastaw confirms those sensors did go off this morning. Live here in Boston, Gary Broad, WBC News. Gary, thank you. Tonight's